Hey there, and welcome to the Guitar Tricks channel. My name is Anders, and I'll be your host today. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our lessons in the future. For our lesson this week, I'm going to show you a simple riff that imitates one of my favorite sounds you can create with an electric guitar, which is the classic spaghetti western sound. Check it out. So first let's dial up the tone. Here I have my basic clean tone. And the first thing we're going to do is add the effect called tremolo, which imitates the sound of someone turning up and down your volume really quickly. And you can actually imitate that by turning your guitar volume up and down. It's definitely easier if you have it built into your amp or you have a pedal or a multi-effect unit that can do it, but it works like this as well. But as always, please don't stress if you don't have access to this effect right now, because these examples definitely work without it as well. Here's my tremolo setting. It's very fast and very choppy. Now the next thing I'm going to add is a big lush reverb. Hear that? You can hear how you can get a lot of mileage just from these two effects combined. But again, don't stress if you don't have access to either right now. The most important thing is that you're on your bridge pickup. Regardless of what type of guitar you're using for this, switch to your bridge pickup. So the first basic tool I'm going to show you is the combination of a minor one chord, meaning our main key of the song is a minor chord. In this case, it's A minor, like I just played. And then our four chord, which is called that because the root note is the fourth scale degree if you count your way up the A minor scale. One, two, three, four, D. And in a minor key, the four chord would typically be a minor chord as well. So in this case, that would be a D minor. But now the first spaghetti western trick of the day is to make the four chord major instead. So it'll be D major. Try alternating between these two chords. Just a confident slow strum. And a full bar on each. Already sounds pretty cool. Now the next thing we're going to do is add some dramatic bass movement. For this riff, we'll hit the low five, meaning the fifth scale degree, which is down here in the open E string, followed by the open A string on its own. The low E string is a pickup, so it'll happen on beat four of the count in, and then the A string will be on beat one. So one, two, three, four, one, two, and then on beat three, we'll strum a confident slow A minor chord, meaning slow as I'm moving across the strings kind of slowly as opposed to just to get a little more drama out of it. And I'm also starting on the D string since the A string is already ringing. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now let's lead into our major four chord by doing a hammer on from the open D string to the second fret with our second finger. And we'll follow that with the second fret of the G string, which we already have fretted with our third finger. And then we'll hit the open D string on beat one of the following bar. So now we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna hit the D chord on beat three as well. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Let that ring into the next bar like that and then repeat it. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now the second time, we'll do this E again, just the same as we did to lead back to the A minor, but now we'll lead to the F major chord here instead. So grab this tricky F bar chord, pick the bass note, and then do the strum. And then after that, we'll go three, two, open on the A string and hit the A minor chord again. Then we'll repeat the pickup and the F chord. 
And now to end the example, we just go three, two, open, and let the string ring out. So the whole thing, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Same thing again. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Pick up to F now. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Now, if you have any kind of whammy bar or big speed like I do here on your guitar, you can play with that on those held out chords. If you don't have that, you can try carefully pushing the back of your guitar neck forward while pushing the other way with your right hand on the body to create a subtle bend in all the strings. Just be very careful not to damage your guitar when you do this. And that's it for this week's channel episode. I hope you've enjoyed the outlaw Western sounds. And if you like this topic, I'm confident you'll enjoy our country course on guitar tricks as well. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more great videos in the future. And as always, feel free to like or share this lesson with your friends. Have fun with it, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.